Example three, writing the function, right? Y equals AB to the X power. A is the initial amount, which in this case is 36,000. Okay, this one is a depreciation, right? That means it's a decay. So we wanna go ahead and say 19% would convert to 0.19. And if I'm doing a decay, that means I wanna do one minus 0.19, and that would give me 0.81. So that number right there would represent the decay of 19%. And we raise it to the x power because it's an exponential function. All right. Now we want to calculate what's it going to be worth in five years. So use that function, 36,000 times 0.81 for five years. Slap that in the calculator. And since we're talking the value of a car, we're talking about money, which means I do want to round it off to the second decimal place. Right, money has two decimal places, so we say it's about 12,552.42. And there's the value of your car after five years, sorry. All right, now, this time, we're not trying to figure out what it's gonna be worth after a number of years. This time, we're trying to figure out how many years is it gonna take for the value of the car to get to this amount. So it's like saying we already know the Y value, we already know the answer. So here's how we set it up. 10,000 equals the initial amount of 36,000 times the decay of 19% for X number of years. That's what we're trying to figure out. Now this is where we're gonna start introducing the properties of logs. So we are going to first, we're trying to solve for the X here. So we're gonna divide by the 36,000 because that's being multiplied to this amount. So we divide by the 36,000 on both sides. Now I want to show you guys that when you divide that in the calculator, 10,000, oops, divided by 36,000, you get this long nasty looking decimal. If you push math, enter, enter, math, enter, enter, it'll convert it to a fraction for you. And that'll be 5 eighteenths. So I'm going to say that 10,000 divided by 36,000 is 5 eighteenths, and then it will cancel over here on the right, the 36,000, so we have 0 0.81 to the x power. Now that is not 0 0.81 times x, so we're not going to divide by 0 0.81. It's 0 0.81 to the x power. This is where the logs come in, okay? What you want to do is move that x to the front of this. Goodness, I'm losing my lights. Yeah, move that x to the front, and then we're going to change each one of these numbers to a log, all right? So move this to the front. And then this is no longer 5 eighteenths. It is now going to be log of 5 eighteenths equals the x that we move to the front times log of 0.81. Okay. Now x is actually being multiplied to this. So we can divide to solve for x. Divide by log of 0.81 on both sides. And don't panic because the log is in the calculator. It's actually a very easy task. You just gotta remember to move the x and change both numbers to a log. And so this is what we're gonna work out right here. In the calculator, we can say log, and that's on the left-hand side right here. Log of 5 eighteenths divided by log of 0.81. And we were trying to figure out how many years it would take, so it looks like it's gonna take about six years. And so we can say, oops, x equals about six years.